Yellowstone National Park sits on top of one of the Earth's hot spots. Hot spots send molten rock and heat from deep within the Earth to just below the Earth's surface. All of the hot springs, geysers, steaming mud pots, and steam vents in Yellowstone National Park are caused by the massive amounts of heat underground. Yellowstone's steaming attractions bring millions of visitors to enjoy the spectacular views. But at some point, Yellowstone will erupt. It has erupted before and will erupt again. Scientists have studied Yellowstone's supervolcano for a long time, and combining those studies gives us a glimpse of what will happen when Yellowstone erupts again. When Yellowstone erupts, it won't be like Hawaii, and it won't even be like Mount St. Helens. The magma pool beneath Yellowstone is enormous, and it can take days or weeks to empty. The explosion will be so powerful that a large amount of ash will be ejected into the stratosphere. Some of this ash will fall to build up to 10 feet of accumulation within a few hundred miles of Yellowstone. Geologists have been able to find layers of ash from the last eruption and rock layers all the way to the east coast. Those in or near the park probably wouldn't know what was happening, as a huge explosion would have occurred at the start of the eruption. Those further afield won't have to deal with the explosions, but the prospects may not be much better. The ashes that fell were not like the soft ashes of a bonfire. Volcanic ash is very sharp when viewed under a microscope like broken glass. If inhaled, the ashes will cut into your lungs and will also form cement in your body. Volcanic ash will also permanently damage all engines of cars and planes that try to operate in those conditions. It will kill many animals, including humans, who try to inhale it. Sharp volcanic ash may be the most pressing concern, but the long-term effects are worse. Ash trapped in the stratosphere will remain suspended for months or even years. The ash, along with various volcanic gases, will block most of the sun's energy. This will create a period of several years with subnormal temperatures and below normal energy for the plant to grow. Among the ash, lack of sunlight, and cooler temperatures, finding food to eat would be the most dangerous consequence of a supervolcanic eruption. Lack of sunlight will reduce the amount of photosynthesis, which plants need to get energy. Animals that eat plants will starve, and the loss of animals will be another reason why our food sources will run out. Of course. As previously mentioned, the Yellowstone volcano has erupted several times in the last few million years, and we still have life on Earth today. The biggest difference between then and now is that Earth did not have a large human population to feed after the last eruption. That would be a problem. However, life in general will endure and so will humanity. Yellowstone was recently in the news because Steamboat Geyser, one of Yellowstone's most famous geysers, completely changed the pattern of eruptions. However, rumors of an imminent major eruption have no scientific backing. Scientists monitor the volcano 24 hours a day, measuring everything from geyser eruptions, hot spring temperatures and ground uplift.